I'm trying to click more faces. Anthony Colton, founder in... Ooh, Chief Cat Herder. Uh, I'll go for this one first. Peace, love, and, and Ello. So, Ali... Ali Bream. Sure. Let's go! Sorry, I'm running to... to meet you, but still pl two blocks away. Oh. Okay. Can you just stop at the next corner and set up the pickup zone? I'm out of breath. Great, not doing what the packs wanted could hurt my star rating, but pulling over in an AV zone would risk a stop from the LOPD. Not to mention a ticket that would set me back some serious coin. Couldn't risk losing the star. I pulled right up to the pin, and right inside a clearly marked Capra loading zone. My headlights hit one of their cars, and it froze in that weird too fast AV way. Almost like you scared it. Almost like they weren't the thing they to actually be afraid of. God. Hey! Hey, sorry. Can we go? Whoa. Of course. Sorry. Of course. It's cool. I glanced at her suit for a second. What was she wearing? Half my packs have those holoscope displays, but the full body thing. She's a cyborg. Barely, on, barely an hour here and already Savory was flaking and my packs were covered in weird gadgets. Welcome to Los Ojos. What's good? Any plans tonight? Uh, yeah, kinda. I just moved here. And it's been interesting. I took a deep breath. Come on. Oh, come on, Savvy. I thought we were past this. Yeah, Ello is usually pretty interesting. No matter what. Oh, wait. I gotta top up. Mind if I plug in? The suit's running low. My car battery was terrible at holding a charge, but it looked like I could spare some at the moment. I need a good rating more than the charge. Okay, I'll take some out of this. Sure, happy to help. Thanks, gotta stop forgetting to charge at every stop. Capra makes you pay extra to use the pots in their cars. Hey, we don't nickel and dime people here at Neocab. Never let people say gig workers solidarity isn't a thing. Maybe this good deed will help me when I'm limping along to a charging station later. You don't have to worry about your rating with me. It needs to be a Capra, mate. Keep it above 4.8 stars or else. Ooh, that's pretty strict. Seriously, you have one person having a bad day, and there goes your rating. You ever worked for Capra? I did. Never again. A lot of drivers went, af went into Capra mates after the culling. Oh yeah, I was part of that. We got a pretty raw deal. Capra just patched our cars over the air. I was... It w wait, I was right at the beginning of a shift. I booted up, but the wheel was locked, then it drove me home. Seriously? I would have freaked. So wait, sorry, one sec. How long have you been driving for Neocab? It's so funny when packs try to pretend they didn't just zone out into their holoscope for a second. Almost two years. But I like it. Moving on though, what's your opinion of Neocab, the company? Was I missing something about these questions? And how honest did she expect me to be? Uh, I would say it's great. Oh, hey, did you see the sign we just drove past? That's like the best... Is that barn... barn me? In town. The words went straight to my stomach. I hadn't stopped to eat all night. Do they have Neo Crab? Park Floss? <laughs> I have no idea what any of these things are. Love me some swine twine. No, but they do this machine sun... Machine spun soy protein fiber mesh. It's like umami cotton candy. So, hey. Would you say your opinion on Sophie's Laura mostly positive or negative? <laughs> you ask a lot of questions. Remind me what that is. Sorry, that's a dumb question. Why would a Neo Cab driver be for something that bans all non-automated cars? Wait, what? So, a few weeks ago, this famous ballet dancer died in a car attack. People were just out having a good time and this guy drove straight into the crowd. Oh dear. Sophie and like 15 other people were killed. That's awful. Who was the driver? 
Is that why I've seen so many police? Probably. People are pretty worked up. Anyway, the vote is in a few days, so it'll all blow, blow over soon. Blow over? If the law passed, it looks it looked like I'd be out of a job. A capra buzzed by me. Of course, make human drivers illegal. And how else would people get around the city? So, I know it's dumb, but I just need a clear answer. Here, yeah, I'll repeat the question. Would you say your opinion on Sophie's Laura mostly positive or negative? Wait a sec. Was she reading these off some kind of script? What's up with all these questions? Alright, oh, you're new in town. Oh! I do surve <laughs> surveillance. Surveillance? Surveillance, whatever. For Capra. Surveillance? Yeah, like surveillance is from above. Ah, oh, surveillance is from below. Is that French? It's Capra speak to me, I don't really get it either. Every time I say it, it sounds like I'm getting called out for being shot. <laughs> they got cameras and sensors all over the suit. It's like, uh, I'm like a big sponge sucking in data from everything and sending it to Capra. Oh. So the, those questions are what Capra wants to know about us, huh? They let us chat a little bit, but yeah, it's their questionnaire. Like, opposition research stuff. Gotta fill my quota. I'm really sorry, I just assume everyone everyone I talk to knows. So I've been talking to a Capra this whole, to Capra this whole time. About me. About the job I scraped together when they fired me. I felt my shoulders tighten and dug my nails into the wheel. All the Capras snaking through the lin through the lens suddenly came into focus like a swarm, like I was surrounded. I tried to breathe. Ah, oh, good. I gotta say, I wish I'd gotten some warning. No, no, that does not look good. She was staring right at my wrist. My field grid was blazing red. Let me switch this damn thing off. Can you do that? I just did. I should have realized when you said it's your first night in LO. All this stuff is normal to me. We're so focused on our metrics. It's ter a terrible introduction, but... Welcome to Los Ojos. We got great food and a shitty... <laughs> Wait, Panopticon? Sorry I got angry. I get that it's just your job. It's not worth making people miserable, you feel? She was quiet for the first time. I could feel her relaxing now that the suit had gone dark. Ali flashes a smile at me, and I could finally see her face. Anyways, I love your hair. I cut mine short like that once. I miss it. In this heat, I just want to shave it all off. But that's a whole look, you know? Am I babbling? It's been too long since I've talked to someone real. Ever since I took this job, it's like I'm just a passenger in this suit. You know what I mean? No, like you're not a human. You're basically just an android to ask questions for your robot overlords. Capra does the talking, and I'm along for the ride. Basically what I just said. Kind of. I got that when I was driving for Capra too. Uh, ooh. I mean, that's kind of like relating to her. I just hope it doesn't make me get pissed off. I still have the keys somewhere. I <laughs> may. I should mount them like antlers. Definitely. Ah, oh, good. Phew. I pulled up to a shopping centre. Skyscrapers on one side, and the skeleton of their future neighbours on the other. Hey, Ali. Ooh. I don't know what would be a nicer thing to say. Like, what if she likes her job? It might mean that she doesn't, but... Don't give up. You'll find something better. I did. Yeah, gotta stay on your hustle, right? Thanks for not kicking me out of your car. Never let them say gig worker solidarity isn't a thing, right? Damn right. I'll hit you up if I need a real human again. Good luck in Los Ojos. I watched the suit blink back to life as she vanished into a crowd of shoppers. Looked like Capra could find their way into my car no matter what. Even through a sweetheart like Ellie. 
Alright, well there's that. What's my rating? Don't say it dropped. Yeah! Gig folk gotta stick together. Five more coins. Liberty Heights, and I used up a single bar. Do I get to pick another ride? I mean, my daily thing is th three of them. Like three rides. As I turned the corner, I slowed the car. A throng of people had gathered in the street. They surrounded an, an empty Capra car in a messy circle. They were yelling, barking things at each other, and at the car. Oh. The auto car made dozens of tiny rapid fire turns, trying to free itself from the circle. I thought of a moth trap between window panes. Then another sound. A sound. Was that my back door? Uh oh. What the hell? Whoa, I need to get out of here. I. I need you to go. I'll pay. What the? Listen, I'll explain. But we need. We need to go. You're a Neocab, right? I'm. You drive people. We need to go. I can't be here. Now, uh, stage colors are your choice. Sometimes adding new options and sometimes disabling them. Let's just take a breath, okay? Your pulse rate. Oh. My pulse rate in my ear so loud I couldn't think through it. Works for me if you're paying. I grated my teeth, I was way too angry. Okay, okay, what is the point in giving me choices? Great, what the hell are you doing in my car? You want a ride? You go through a neocab. You don't just open my door without asking. Look, I'm sorry. Seriously, but that's my fucking bike under the wheels of that capper, okay? I nearly died. And if we don't get out of here now, the cops will be here my life will actually be over. I can explain everything, but first, you need to put some distance in between us and that mob. I get it, that sounds terrifying. If he fled into my face, I was sick and tired of being pushed around. Can you explain everything? Again, I can't choose. You know what? No. If the cops are coming, that's your issue. Now stop telling me what to do from the backseat of my own car. I let the silence and tension fill the space. The packs looked so scared, the mob outside was getting worse. And did I really want to deal with the LOPD right now? Hey. Hey, you've got panic eyes. I see you. Do you see me? I can usually get a read on a person the first time I see their face. Sammy called it my truth download, not like she ever listened when it was about someone she wanted to dare. But I needed to be calm and hear that little voice inside my head. And this Pax had me all riled up. I ignored them and tried to think. You're the sort of person who feels things really intensely, right? Well, this is an, int this is an intense situation. Please, take one second to to see me asking you for help, and drive. I drove. I can't. Why the fuck? Ah, it's annoying. I felt frozen like things were terrible, and they always would be. I held their gaze. I felt their fear, the fear evaporate. My pulses slowed. There we go. They trailed off as they watched my field grid crash from angry red to a chill green. It seemed to, ca it seemed to calm them down too. Yo, where one of those feel things? It looks like we're cool. Choose your words and pack carefully to shift your mood in a new, di new direction and change your story. We're cool. That's good because me and the LOPD are not. Floor it. I got us out of there in the nick of time, just as the squad cars rolled up and the bike punk scrambled into the night. Oh man. What's your name? I'm Hazel. Now why does Adrenaline ever have to wear the- Wait, oh, wear off. This shit hurts, dude. I'm Lena. Where are you going? Take me- Shit, I need to get to work. I work at this club in Los- Los Rouge? Is that Rouge? Yeah. It's not too far. I'm- Shit. Ow. Uh, are you okay? I'm- I'm bleeding. Oh no, can I help? Can you give me stitches and antibiotics? No. Is it that bad? No, forget it. I'm just rattled. Thanks for asking. And don't worry, I won't mess up your car. That was thoughtful. Neocab is supposed to cover cleaning costs for things like that. For things like that. But once they do, there's always a mysterious operations surcharge that'll, that'll pop in your paycheck a few days later. I got hit by a Capra. I was on my bike. Came out of nowhere, sideswiped me, then just kept driving. Right over my fucking bike. 
you get the flight number? Shit, no I didn't. Don't bother going back though, forget it. And all those people just showed up? No, no, I called erratic swarm. Is that a fancy term for an angry mob? I just wanted to drive and keep it simple. Oh. What's a Radix swarm? You know who Radix is, right? Sounds like they hate Capra. <laughs> My kind of people. So does anyone with a brain, right? We're activists. We stand up against corporate entities like Capra. Radix is all about direct action to change the city for the people. Getting rid of cars, that's just the seed. What grows from that are safer streets, public transit that works, a, a big chunk bitten out of the luxury market. Most people just see us as punks on bikes, but most people are blind. So then, what's a swarm? If you're a member of Radix and you're in trouble, like if you get hit by a fucking Capra, you send up a flare on the app to call a Radix swarm. It alerts the other members, shows, the, shows them where you are, tells them you need help. Radix has an app? Well, I could feel good vibes. Okay. So that was help. Doesn't seem like it did much for you, if you're here with me. I just... it got crazy. I don't know. I did not... didn't expect that. Is it your first time calling a swarm? Certainly sounds like it. Yeah. But it's like... I don't know. It's not supposed to be like that. What's it supposed to be like? I don't know. I thought they'd save me, but it was like they just showed up to fuck up a ca the Capra car. Nobody tried to get my bike or whatever. One dude helped me up, but like, the second I said I was okay, it, it didn't matter anymore. Neocab to the rescue. Ugh. That makes it even worse. Why do you say that? Because it's still a fucking car. You're still putting people at risk every day. Plus, I shouldn't be riding around in a death machine in front of a bunch of Radix folks. Death machine? Come on. Hey, if it looks like a duck and walks like a duck, I'm not going to spell it out for you. Do you think they saw me get in? Nah. They seem pretty focused on the car. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I can feel him relax. I feel them relax. Just a little. What a fucking night. My leg's killing me, my bike's gone. They're probably gonna ask me to leave Radix. I doubt it, they need people like you. People who cruise around in fucking death machines. People who call cars. Fucking death machines. Yeah, okay. Whatever. Look, where, where I'm going, I don't want them to see me get out of your car. So can you drop me, like, kind of Guadalupe and Sanders? I'll walk the rest of the way. On that leg? It's just a scrape, I'm fine. Your call. Wait, it, I felt good, like things were going to be okay, that was all that mattered. Okay, you sure don't want to, want to see someone about it? Maybe there's a free clinic nearby. In this town? Yeah, sure. They lean to look out the window. Okay, here's good. Maybe just pull into the alley? The whole block looked pretty deserted, but I still slipped into the shadows. Whatever would put their mind at ease. You don't, like, record this, right? That's the Neocab deal. I'm, just, I'm waiting to be able to advance dialogue. Right, no camera, nothing on the app. You were never here, as all. Okay. Well, how much do I owe you? Ten coins you cover it. Yeah, fair price, I guess. Here you go. Thanks. Nice. Listen, thanks for not kicking me out of your car. I appreciate it. But, like, what you saw. No worries, I'll keep it quiet. Thanks. Shit, wait, I didn't get your name. Lena. Cool. Thanks, Lena. I'm as all. I said that, right? You did, and you're welcome. Have a good night. They all stepped out of the car, stumbling a bit like they couldn't put too much weight on their knee. Without so much as a look back, though, they shook it off and limped into the alley. It was well after midnight and I'd met my ride quota. I checked my field grid. Pale yellow-green. 
On most nights, I'd call it quits about now, or maybe push, for, push on for one last ride, if I had it in me. But until I heard from Savvy, I had nowhere to go. When was she going to text me back? I guess we're going for another ride. Oh! It wasn't actually a... A ride, uh, like, a proper. Because it didn't count as the, the third ride. That was just my second of third. Where are we? I'm at three bars? Man. Oh wait, is the last one? Oh no, the- ooh. Oh wow, I'm far away. Who are you? Kloss Berg? That would put me right next to a charging station. Neocab Prime? I don't like that he's only three and a half stars. Ooh, he's only three stars. I'll go with this guy. He's four and a half. Student of the world, any opinion expressed on this feed are mine and mine alone. Will I have enough fuel to do that? I guess so. When I arrived, Klaus was waiting with someone on the pavement. He gave me a blank nod and extinguished his cigarette on the street on a streetlight. Hey Nikki T. It's going pretty good, thanks. How about yourself? Very cool. So affected. Good evening. Oh, okay, there's two of them. Hello. <laughs> Were those German accents? I used to keep track of how many different accents I'd hear in a night. I hadn't heard German in ages. Hey there. How are you two? They put their hands on their knees. They weren't talking. Were they waiting for me to say something? Are you new to Los Ojos? <laughs> What's your take on these radix folk? Me too. I'm from Cactus Flats. <laughs> Is this just going to be a one-sided conversation? If you're new to Los Ojos, you definitely won't know Cactus Flats. What's that saying? Not a bad place to visit, not a good place to stay. stay. Well, maybe I'll end up back there. I don't know. You are a robot, yes? Uh, no. I'm a human. You must tell us if you are a machine. That is the law. Why do you think I'm a robot? Well, we understand that the American taxi companies are putting in... What is the word? Robot drivers? Yes, robot drivers, but in self-driving taxis. They still do not drive the car. Oh no, it is for appearances. Having a robot in the car is more comfortable for the customer, you know? More friendly, it has personality. Yes, and more exciting. Self-driving cars are much more efficient, but you cannot carry out a conversation with the car. Well, you could, but the car's computer would... Not with the car's computer, but it would be a disembodied voice. No good. Sterile and unfriendly. Yeah, so we hear that the companies are putting robots in the taxis. A pilot program. Do we understand correctly? Kind of a cold idea, I guess. So my friend or I are having, and I are having this discussion. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope it gets better. I hope you feel better. We think you are one of these robots. Do I act like a robot to you? I'm a human! Very much so. You thought we were new to Los Ojos, so you told us what is topical about the city. You initiated a helpful and informative conversation based on available data. You demonstrated basic pattern rec recognition. Or basic politeness. Hmm. If I was a robot, do you think I'd tell you? Well, do I look like a robot to you? Well, yes, in some ways. For instance, and this is not a personal comment, but your face is very... simplistic? Wow. <laughs> wow. Yes, exactly. A human being has blemishes. You have no visible moles or freckles, no stray hairs. Overall, your face is this very... neutral. Yes, a neutral effect. If I saw you on the street, I would not notice you. You would be like an ATM to me. And that is how you would design a customer service robot. To calm the customer, to put them at ease, like sedative. Deep breath, Lena. That's... <laughs> Depressing. <laughs> Jeez, guys. Well, I'm not a robot. Sorry to disappoint. Hmm. 
Hmm. Hmm. I'm clearly a human being. I don't know what kind of robots you guys hang out with, but I'm clearly a human being. You claim to be human. Ah, great. You are a robot. Then you would not object to proving it? The Higgs Gary? Yes, the Higgs Gary. It is a verbal test. Simply a few questions. Revealing questions. Couldn't I just sneeze <laughs> sneeze on you? Or bleed on you? What is Higgs Gary? Are you Are you quite serious? It is the form of assessment tool to distinguish between artificial and human intelligence. No artificial intelligence has ever passed the Higgs Gary. The Higgs Gary tests humanity, not knowledge. A robot intelligence can recite all of human knowledge, but that does not mean it is human. A human is messy, emotional, complicated, beautiful. A robot is optimized and efficient. It is what a human can never be. No. Let us begin. Born ready. Your aunt makes a racist comment at your birthday party. Ooh. <laughs> is that a question? I'd be mortified. You meet your favorite artist. You tell him his earlier work is much better than what he produces now. Why did you do that? Oh. No, you wouldn't. If you met someone whose earlier work you preferred, you wouldn't say I preferred your older stuff, because that's just depressing. I wouldn't do that. But you have. Why? I guess I wanted to hurt his feelings. It's good to be honest. Oh, fucking hell. A homeless man picks your pocket. He probably needs the money more than I do. I'd leave him alone. You have a young son. He asks to see your breast. Uh, <laughs> I would politely but firmly explain the concept of boundaries. Your pet pig eats your friend's best dress. She wants to watch you discipline it. She can back off, it's my pig. Yeah. Oh, okay, it's... Oh. Not because he did something bad. I mean, you'd still discipline it, but, like, I don't know. Ah, crap. <laughs> These are hard-hitting questions. In my own time and in my own way. Yeah, that worked. So, after intercourse, your husband tells you he would kill a man to protect you. Right. He tells you that he has already killed a dog. He tells you that he killed the dog three hours ago. He tells you that you knew this dog. Was it Higgs or Gary who was obsessed with sex? <laughs> this is too weird. Um, yeah. If they'd killed an animal, for sure. You'd leave them. Fuck that person. And then report him to the police. Yeah, these questions are a bit, a bit strange. Your best friend has an affair with your son. They ask you to pay for the abortion. What the hell? <laughs> what? I wouldn't help them. It's not fair to put that responsibility on me. Your father sends you worms in the mail. One of the worms still clings to life. <laughs> I'd call dad and ask if he was okay. Well, that is the end of the test. And perfect timing, too. We arrived at a club in Liberty Heights, The Haunt. It was hard to say whether the decor was ghost-themed or just black. Uh, how'd I do? <laughs> you are a robot. Is that important? We really do have to go. Ah, oh, whatever, it's fine. Oh, really? <laughs> I don't want to get pissed at them, though, my rating! Wasn't about to let these widows bail out now. Yes, it's important. What do you think? To be honest, I am finding it quite hard to be certain. Yes, me as well. Where had I gone wrong in my life that people weren't even sure whether I was human? Human! I'm human! Either she is an incredible robot, or a below average human, yes. Wow! But it's impossible to be sure. Alright, you've had your fun, okay? We should err on the other side of her being a robot. On the side of her being a robot. Agreed. 
Your test is absurd and obsessed with sex. There were definitely there were definitely moments that made me wish I was a robot. Yeah, then the goat test. So not someone desperately trying to try not to lose it in front of her packs. Do we have to pay the fare even though we've determined that you are a robot? Yes. She doesn't deny being a robot. Yes, I noticed that as well. There was a line for the haunt stretching right around the block. So Claus and Marek disappeared to join it. I'll never get what makes people wait in lines that long for a drink. What do I know? I'm just a robot. Wow. Do I even get paid for that? I fucking better. <laughs>